Integers include byte, short, int, and long. These are the four primitive data types for declaring integers. And out of these four, int is the most commonly used. Variables declared as integers can hold whole numbers only, such as negative 2, negative 7, 52, and 187. Integer data types cannot hold floating point numbers. That means numbers with a decimal point. It can only hold whole numbers or integers only. Integers embedded into the Java source code are called integer literals. And let's take a look at some examples. So let's create some integer variables. And the four primitive data types for integers are byte, which can only hold numbers between negative 128 and positive 127. And an example of something that can only be up to that number is maybe a person's age, 34. And if a person was very, very old and they happen to be you know, outside of that range, like 180, then you get an error because it's going to tell you that there's a type mismatch, cannot convert from int to byte, because it needs to be within the range. So 127, I believe, is the largest number that it could possibly be as a byte. If you were to make it 128, then guess what? You have to upgrade them to either short. Now they're short, and that will fit that range. But if you are immortal and you happen to be outside of the range of short, let's say 33,000 is outside of the range of short, then you get another error. Now it's saying that you have another type mismatch, so you might need to upgrade that to an integer to hold that value. And if this number is even bigger and you know way higher than 2 billion and something, you'll need to change it to a long. Long will hold much lar larger values for integers. So again, all these data types are byte, so byte me, six, five, and short guy is nine, and int something is 10, and long, long board is 13. And these are the four primitive data types for storing integers as variables. So byte, short, int, long are the data types. The identifiers right after them are the variable names. The equal sign is the assignment operator. And the numbers right after the equal sign are the values that we're assigning to these variables. And they can only hold whole numbers. I cannot say something is 5.4 because integers only hold whole numbers, not decimal numbers or floating point numbers. So if you want it to hold decimal numbers, we would have to change int to a double. And we're going to learn about the floating point numbers in a different video.